So today is our first full day in Luang Prabang, Laos. <laughs> I would say that, to be honest, Laos is probably never on either of our radars in terms of traveling here, but this trip is really just about experiences and gaining new perspectives, and so we're both really excited to be here. Yeah, we're really enjoying it so far. So part of the learning curve for us is we don't really know um, a lot about the Laos cuisine. I think it's pretty similar to Thailand. Laos and Thai languages are very similar. Um, only 50% of the people that live here actually speak true Lao language. So cultures are pretty close, but we're excited to see what makes Laos different. So we have been eating a lot of carbs lately, so we are thinking, for this first round, a shake. <laughs> and by shake, I mean fruit smoothie. Mint lemon ginger, avocado honey. Let's do it. Mm. The avocado one is really light, but it's good. Not quite an avocado smoothie like the one in Vietnam, but I'll take it. Okay, mint line ginger time. Oh, that is pungent. I feel healthier already. <laughs> it's good. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, I just have to show you this because it's insane. All of this is like a dollar twenty-five. Half a mango, no, full mango, pineapple, passion fruit, watermelon, honeydew. Wow, this is the life. So we're taking a stroll through the uh, main historical square right now. It's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and Laos used to be a French colony, and you can tell everywhere you look really french heavy architecture it's it's beautiful historical street there is the river and we've been told that there's a bamboo bridge that goes all the way across it so we're gonna go check it out <laughs> sorry mom <laughs> rickety little thing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done anything like this before. The this entire is... bridge is made out of bamboo. It's pretty impressive. You pay a 5,000 kip fee per person. It says it helps maintain the bridge and pays a small salary for the worker. So, mm -hmm. keeping people employed. They also have to take down this bridge every six months because the current in the water gets too strong and would break the bamboo, so they put it back up every six months, which is really ridiculous to think about, but I'm happy it's here. <laughs> this is a rickety thing. No, 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 don't. <laughs> ah! <laughs> don't, there's a hole. Oh my God. 
<laughs> so, in the words of Brayden's mother, this bridge is definitely not up to code. <laughs> being really terrible. We ordered a pizza. <laughs> I just wanted some cheese. I miss cheese. I really miss cheese, but like Asian dishes really don't have it. It's just for the cheese. We promise that we'll have Lao food tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't beat this view. I think we're on Lao time. What do you think? Wow, time is a real thing. <laughs> Don't expect to go anywhere quickly because lunch takes a while, <laughs> smoothies take a while, trying to get a tube tube to actually drive takes a while. It's all good though, because we're on lap time too. <laughs> Surprise, there's ham. <laughs> Their tomato sauce is a lot sweeter than ours, but it's really good. <laughs> That's a large pizza. <laughs> it had four tiny slices. <laughs> it was only 30,000 kip though. So about three and a half dollars? Yeah. If you've never traveled to Asia before, just a little tidbit for you. They don't always come around to give you your check automatically. Um, they actually wait for you to ask for the check or to just go up to them and pay the money. So if you're sitting there for like 30 minutes after your meal and you're wondering what the heck is going on, make sure you ask for the check because <laughs> they will wait and wait and wait. <laughs> we learned the hard way. <laughs> All right. So we have saved this for the end of the day because we really wanted to see it at sunset, but we are headed up the 328 staircase to Mount Husi. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say it, but I think I'm saying something really weird. Um, but at the very top is the Chomsi Stupa. Chomsi Stupa. It's like a spiritual forest. So right in the middle of the city, there is a mountain that is 150 meters high and Chomsi Stupa is at the very top. So we're making the trek to see the sun go down. I'm already really tired and we just started. really sweaty. I'm not tired. I just stink. <laughs> but it's gonna be worth it. I can't wait to see around this corner. <laughs> it better be worth it. <laughs>
waiting for the sunset and Tay's got a little furry friend. <laughs> we know how much Tay loves cats. I'm allergic. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> this is one of those places where everyone has the same idea. this was going to be but I guess we should have expected that. We're in Asia and it's a sunset. <laughs> I think this is the first thing in Laos that I would recommend not doing. I'm a little crowded. <laughs> Don't do this. She agrees. <laughs> All right, well, that was very just okay. It was a pretty basic sunset. Yeah, we've had some pretty awesome ones in our lives. That was pretty basic. I'm sure there are some better ones, but mostly it was just the experience that was meh. Um, it was really crowded. I'm sure that you can have an equally good sunset down by the river, just down in town. Yeah. If it were up to me, I wouldn't do that again. It's nice now that we're away from the people. Yeah, it's wonderful. Good night, Buddha. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs>